Hi Disney friends and family, it's Nancy here. Welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, I just want to let you guys know that these are my favorite Disney ears. So let me know in the comment section below who you think these Disney ears belong to. Today we'll talk about Disney Cruise Line Specialty Dining. So as you may know, Disney Cruise Line offers specialty dining that is adult only and not included into the price of your cruise. They have Paula, which is their Italian restaurant, and Remy, which is their French restaurant, both of which have to be booked ahead of time, preferably during your online check-in. If you do decide to book one of these restaurants, book ASAP because spots do fill up quickly. If for some reason you're unable to book these experiences online, keep checking back periodically. Or during your cruise, you can check with the host or hostess and see if there are any last minute cancellations. If you do decide to book a specialty dining experience, keep in mind that they do have a dress code. So remember to pack appropriately. So the dress code for dinner and brunch is semi-formal. So that means collared shirts, pants with no holes in them, and closed-toed shoes. I will share my dining experience at Apollo and discuss whether or not I think it's worth paying extra on top of your cruise fare. If you want to know about my dining experience at Remy or you want to watch a complete dining guide of the Disney Fantasy, I'll put the links of those videos in the description below. So Apollo is located opposite of Remy on deck 11 in the aft of the Disney Fantasy. The decor is inspired by Italy where both the Disney Magic and the Disney Wonder both originated. Palo in Italian means pole. It got its name from the poles that line the famous canals of Venice, which the gondolers used to tie up their gondolas when docking. When you first arrive, your server will guide you to the restaurant. They will stop and explain certain features of the beautiful decor of the restaurant. The handmade uh, glass, all in all, 360 pieces. The menu itself is inspired by Northern Italian cuisine. Palo offers both brunch services, and dinner services. Apollo guests may choose to order from their prefix menu for $45 and they get to pick four courses from a selected menu, or they can order things a la carte. Additional items beyond their prefix menu may be added at an additional charge. So for brunch, you can choose one appetizer, one antipasta, one entree, and one dessert. We didn't try Apollo's brunch menu, but I've heard amazing things about it. For dinner, you get to choose one antipasta, one salad, one entree, and one dessert. Our server Eddie told us that the prefix menu was very filling and many guests would tell him that by the time they finished their salads that they were already full. We did decide against the prefix menu and ordered a la carte because I saw a 28 ounce dry aged steak and I just had to try it. For dinner, we ordered the calamari from the appetizer menu, the 28 ounce dry aged prime Angus porterhouse steak, and the infamous chocolate souffle. Don't worry, I'll go through each of the items and tell you what I thought about it. So we're not big on alcohol as we both have a very low tolerance, but we did want to get a nice glass of wine that would pair nicely with the steak. We asked the sommelier to suggest something that was a little bit sweeter, and he suggested a Moscato to us. It cost about $11 for the glass and it was absolutely perfect for us. So for those of you that aren't big alcohol drinkers or have a low tolerance, I think a Moscato is perfect. It is low in alcohol, it's sweet and fizzy, and it usually pairs well with dessert and appetizers. Okay, so let's go over each item that we ordered. They start off with a complimentary palette opener and a basket of bread. Many of you already know, I love my bread. Their breadsticks are full of carb-filled loveliness. They had three different types of bread. They had the grassini sticks, they had thin pizza breadsticks, they had olive rolls that had a bit of garlic pesto on it. <sighs> the pizza dough was my favorite. The next item that we ordered was the deep fried shrimp and calamari with lemon garlic mayonnaise and marinara sauce. So I'm a little weary about ordering calamari outside because I'm afraid that it's gonna be chewy, rubbery, but this wasn't like that at all. It was crunchy, it was crisp on the outside, it was tender on the inside, it was delicious. I loved it. Our chef brought out the porterhouse steak to us. The steak was tender, it was juicy, it was flavorful, it was cooked to perfection. It wasn't too salty, it was perfectly seasoned. It was garnished with heirloom tomatoes on the vine to provide the perfect amount of acidity to open up your palate and increase your appetite. My husband loved the souffle. He said it was hot, chocolatey, gooey, and overall wrapped the dinner together. Me on the other hand, I regret not getting the amaretto souffle because that had the espresso gelato on it. And I think that I would have enjoyed that a lot more, 
But honestly, I was so full, there was no way that I could have finished a dessert by myself. At the end of the meal, they bring you your check and a complimentary glass of Venetian Cigrella Pino to cleanse your palate. I wanted to make this at home and I found a simple recipe online that I'll put in the description below. It's really easy, all you gotta do is mix it together. The only thing that I disliked about dining in the aft was the swaying of the ship. So if you eat a lot like we did, you're gonna feel it. So the more further back and the higher up you are in the ship, you are more likely to feel the movement of the ship and if you're sensitive to that, make sure you take a motion sickness pill or if you have a motion sickness patch, put it on before you have lunch or dinner. So is Paula worth the charge? Absolutely. I think that this is a must do on every single Disney cruise and the next cruise that I book, I'm definitely going to book the brunch and the dinner. If you do decide to dine at Paolo, I hope you have a wonderful experience. Happy cruising and happy dining. See you next time! Alright, thanks everybody for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications so you get updates for new videos. Hope to see you again soon!